What's up, guys? I'm Reese King with this week's Entertainment Online. It's been a crazy week in Hollywood with a pop superstar chopping his locks and Lilo making yet another appearance in court. But first, let's talk a little music. With the Grammy Awards over only last week, the race for this year's nominations is already heating up with some of our favorite artists already creating a buzz. With her latest album, 21, which is available now, British crooner Adele is already hearing whispers about Album of the Year nod. But before she makes a place on her mantle, she might want to check out Dr. Dre's latest release, Detox. Now, this album has been long in the making, featuring artists like Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, The Game, and of course, Eminem, and is, the producer says, some of his best work to date. There are also rumors of a new release from Sasha Fierce, or Beyonce as she's better known, and of course, last but not least, Britney Spears drops her seventh studio album titled Femme Fatale. The album has been in the works for two years and Miss Spears says she considers it her best album to date. But even if the album isn't a hit, Britney has already broken records and of course cash checks for the video for its first single, Hold It Against Me. The pop princess is said to have raked in over a half million dollars in product placement revenue alone from companies like Sony, the dating website Plenty of Fish, Makeup Forever Eyeshadow, and of course Britney's own perfume line, Radiance. Now in other music news, tween hearts around the world were shattered this week when Justin Bieber cut his signature hair. But don't worry, the cut was not in vain. The teenage singing sensation presented Ellen DeGeneres on her show with some of his thoroughly flip-tested hair to auction off on her website. And if you plan on making a bid for the Beebmeister's hair, you can feel good when you do so because all the proceeds will be going to the nonprofit organization, The Gentle Barn. And on to something equally as tragic, a judge this week gave Lindsay Lohan about a week to decide if she will fight or take a plea deal in her felony grand theft case. But either decision could send the troubled starlet back behind bars. Superior Court Judge Keith Schwartz told Le Lohan he would sentence her to jail regardless of whether she accepted a plea deal involving the theft of a $2,500 necklace from an upscale jewelry store or not. The length of her sentence, however, could vary greatly. Now for entertainment, I'm Reese King. Make sure and check us out on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for all the latest breaking celebrity news. We'll see you next time.